on today's episode of Moto Cheese. Dang! You got shocks, pegs, lucky. The following movie is rated I. What's up, boys? What we're reviewing today is an awesome model leopard battery scooter. This is a single drive, 1000 watt. So let's get it out of the box. As you can see, it has the better suspension on it. This is under $1,000. So this is considered an off-road electric scooter with a single 1,000 watt motor that's capable of 34 miles per hour maximum speed. It has a 20.8 amp hour, 52 mile range battery. This does come with a seat with a height adjustable bar that is detachable. The battery charger is a 54.6 volt 2 amp, 100 to 240 volt input, a little kickstand, there's your charging port. So this is basically fully assembled with the exception of the handlebar and the seat kit if you'd like to put that on. Looks like it's got some decent shocks in here that are adjustable even on the front as well as the back. Tube style tires, semi-aggressive tread, fenders, front and rear. There's your 1000 watt hub here. Looks like it is telescoping for your handlebar. Looks like you can hook this under here for carrying it. Let's get this handlebar on. I personally like the seats. Gives you a feel of a little bit more control. But some viewers mentioned that it's not legal as a scooter on a road if it has a seat on it. I don't know if that's true or not. It's nice all these screws have little lock stuff on them. This has two positive locking locks to fold his handlebar neck. The awesome user's manual. It says wear protection. That's what she says too. Nice directions. So it looks like a one year warranty on most everything, except the battery and charger are six months, handlebar grips are 14 days, the wheels are 30 days, and other is 14 days. Net weight is 69.6 .6 pounds. It's a 23.2 inch handlebar width. It looks like the screws for the seat are in the package with this multi-tool. Yeah, they have a little Loctite on them. Some people may want the sporty ride without this. I kind of like it because you can keep that seat between your legs and it gives it a little more stability. And if you want to sit down, of course, change positions. You're not standing constantly. It does have a nice rubber pad. Nice lock. A little cumbersome. You gotta loosen this up to swing that off of there for the seat if you want to fold it. Not horrible. It does have a dampened seat stem on it. That's always nice too. This holds up. A lot of times these always want to drop on me. Nice little unit. Four LED HUD light. That looks pretty nice. I have to adjust that tonight. Disc brakes with cables. That's dragging so I definitely want to readjust that. If you 
loosen these up. Squeeze the brakes lightly and then snug this back up. A little better, but it's still dragging very slightly. Squeeze the brakes again. Not bad. Just barely touching. Oh, these are dragging pretty good. All that'll do is kill your battery fast. A lot of drag on that. I don't know why they don't use floating pins on here. You definitely want a little play. And of course, once you use them, they wear in a little bit. And you can check it to readjust it again. That's good right there. I'm going to charge it up. Might be a little low. Of course, only use the approved charger. It says the charging time is 10 hours. So we'll be right back. Three hours later. Now we're all charged up. Only took three hours. Must have had a little bit of a charge in her, huh? Get her down and tighten up the handlebars. Hey, what's up, kitty? When I got my first one of these, I didn't really like it. Because I didn't think it would handle like it does. But once you get used to how this thing rides and handles, I love these little things. And they fold up so small, you can fit them right in the back of a car or a truck. You fit a couple of them. So now I, I kind of love these. Alright, let's see. This should be probably there. Make sure we're centered here. This little hook. Looks like you can hang like grocery bags and stuff. The one that latches it when you close it so you can pick it up by the neck here. Huh. Pretty neat. Dual purpose. What's up, Mimo? Brought a mouse in the house and lost it. Little tiny baby one. Let's check this dash out. All right, when you turn this on, you have to hold this button for like three seconds. But here's the display. It says single because it is single. Right there, single. That's your battery level. The trip and odometer goes back and forth automatically. There's your battery voltage. There's your speed. It's already in miles per hour. Then you have your mode. There's three modes. You change them here. Not sure whether there's any settings on this or not. Try holding the button and turning it on. All right, that didn't work. It just turned it back on. So I guess there's no settings. This back tire off the ground on one. Freewheeling will do 12 miles an hour. Two, freewheeling will do 27, and three, freewheeling will do 41. One thing I noticed different that they switch these around, and I kind of like it. This is the front brake, this is the rear brake. When you squeeze the brake, of course, you got a little brake light there that flashes for people. This is your headlight switch. This does have turn signals, left, and right. Center is off, of course. Also, when your headlight is on, it gives you running lights. And a horn. Built in your headlight. Of course, your throttle. There's your key, your startup, and mode selector. And that's about it for controls. These are not buttons. I don't see any USB connectors on here at all.
Let's do a little trip down the back of my property. See how this does up the little hills and on the dirt. We're going to go right to mode three. See if we can make it back up this hill. No, sinking in the grass. These little tires. Let's see how it does now. Well, not going to quite make it up. It's pretty steep there. doesn't have quite enough power with the thousand watt single drive to make it up that hill. I mounted my little Android Auto thing here so we can see how accurate the miles per hour is on this display. Let's do a 17 mile loop. Some of these hills are pretty steep. We'll do a zero to top speed performance test. And yeah, my rubber app didn't record everything, just three miles of it. Seventeen miles an hour up the hill. Thirty-four, thirty-five. This isn't even a big hill. This isn't the Anderson Hill. So it looks like it's between one and two miles per hour off. We're not gonna make it up Anderson Hill. See how we do. Kick assist. Switch my camera here. Hook my 360 camera up. So it does make it up at a little kick assist here. Not horrible. A thousand watts should pull me up this hill. I've had 750 watt bikes pull me up this hill. A little disappointing to be honest. And we're off again. Now we're going downhill. Thirty-five. Downhill wide open. Test these brakes in a minute. Forty-two. Let's see the brakes. A lot of brakes work really good. Oops. I blew the horn at that person. I wanted to put the blinker on. So it's a little disappointing on those hills because everywhere I go is hills. Do a time performance test. This is very slight downhill, of course. That's where I do them all. Ready? 
go. Twenty. Twenty-five. Thirty. Which is actually twenty-six. Yeah, honestly, this is like a five hundred watt e-bike. So around the city, this would be good. But very hilly around me, it's not so great. And of course, it could stand up. Does great downhill. <laughs> Take the scenic route through here as usual. Use a couple bars of the battery, about a quarter. It's a little nipply this morning. It's probably 65. Oh, geez, that was a big one. Well, it handles the bumps pretty good. Suspension is very nice, and the brakes work pretty excellent too. So let's see, we'll go to one. Doing one. You're looking at 10 miles an hour, which is nine actual miles per hour. Number two. Looks like 23 miles an hour. actually 21 and then three I've already done three that's what I've been keeping it on so about 30 miles an hour max with 235 pounds on it that's me I'm a big slice of cheese enough to break the speed limit which I think is 25 which is circle had a little more power I'd go up in there I'm trying to keep enough speed yes this acts exactly like the 500 watt e-bikes that I've tested up through here So, if they're claiming a thousand watts, that's that's definitely a peak wattage. But I would say it's more like 750 watt peak. Six miles, and we've got a little over half a battery left. Get some speed up for this hill. We're not following that speed limit. Recommended. You guys know how it is around my place, it's all hills. Come on, leopard. It's pulling it. Come on, leopard. You can do it. This does not have regenerative charging. Well, made them two hills, so that's good. Seven miles, looks like still got a little more than half a battery. Do a little stand up. Got to keep up the speed, boys. Cut that corner. Did they pave this? Since the last time I was here, I believe so. Well, it looks like eight miles and we're a little bit less than half a battery now. We're definitely not gonna do the route that I normally do up over those hills. Cause I don't feel like pushing it. Definitely kill the battery on this. If I try to go up those hills, I normally do. 
So we're pretty much wide open third range for this test. Whoa. Yeah, these things are great for camping. I wish I had them when I used to go camping with the RV and my kids. Now I have the handlebars all the way down too. It's a little better for when you're sitting on a seat. Put my blinker on. We'll take a couple pictures from the outside looking at it. Riding around the parking lot when we get down by the beach. good oh well, some jumps baby Woo! hey we could beat this guy the heck he's blowing it the wrong way you ever take it off any sweet jumps Ooh! I actually got a little air that time boys take some pictures there but not now maybe I'll do it right here Ten miles, a little more than half battery. I never know if those dogs are going to chase you. <laughs> you got to be ready. What brand is that? What brand is that? It's awesome. They're like a thousand dollars, aren't they? This will do like 30 on a flat with my fat yeah, ass. When you went by, it says, holy shit, if you ever hit something, you're going for a ride. You got GoPro Well, on yeah, I do, I do YouTube videos. on. I do all these reviews on these. Where'd you come from? Like, where'd you start today? I'm on... And you drove all the way down through here. Yeah, I, went, I took the back roads and it and struggled. same battery. Yeah, it's like about half. Wow. You, a single. Yeah, this is a single. It was tired. It, it, wasn't it didn't have the speed. But this uh, is pretty good, would you? It's not, you could try it if you want. Nah, I don't know. <laughs> You're on company time too, yeah. probably. So it'd be like, it's thing? just throttle. And it's got three different modes. Yeah, you have modes, okay. Offset, okay. Does it fold up too? Yeah, the seat will fold forward. You, you don't even have to, it comes with the seat, but you don't have to put it on. I kind of like it because it makes it more stable. You can keep that between your legs. Oh, yeah, you don't have to have a seat. I've seen it. Yeah. How is it for our stability? It, once you get used to it, it's good. But yeah, this fl this flips down. So this just throttle here. Oh, yeah. Wow, that thing's touchy. I mean, on just yeah, throttle for perfect. here, say so it's. Wow. It says 38, but it'll do like 30 on a flat. On well, I put that on because I want to match up the speed. It's That's off impressive. like two miles an hour. And what do you got for brake? They're disc brakes front you and rear. Saying, but you, okay, cable. Yeah, cables. Yup. It's got blinkers. Ooh. It's got two. Oh, it's got two. Uh, yeah, front and rear, like and it's got this will go up and down. Yeah, height. but I use a seat so I keep it low. Yeah, yeah, it's got a headlight on so it. I was gonna get for the campground. My kid takes off on his bike. Oh, it's perfect for go. the camp. Yeah. yeah, if you look it up on YouTube, you'll see. But you're on like, there. Yeah. You do this a lot. Yeah, I do the whole video you're review. Basically. Like I'm gonna say about this one, it's you know the suspension's good, everything's good, but it's just I don't think it's a thousand watts. 
Not yeah. Would you put that in your? Yeah. Head? Oh, you'd come out and tell them the truth. I tell them whatever I find, I find. The moto cheese. Yeah, M O T O C H E E Z. Oh, we got a big truck coming. Come on, you can make the hill. <laughs> Could have took the sidewalk. Let's get in with traffic here. Jeez, where'd all this traffic come from? Excuse me. And that's the scary part of riding bikes and these. Uh, we're down to a third of a battery. 11 miles I'm not gonna kill this thing dead because I don't feel like pushing it sorry guys it is about seven or eight miles back to my residence I gotta ride through this town hasn't done the side of roads cutting those are the guys I should have asked huh <laughs> yep 35 and that's where it topped off and it leveled me out Yeah, cruise is nice if it's not too big of a hill, you know. Let's scooch right along pretty good. It's flashing down to about a quarter battery. 13 miles. But I think we'll make it home. Pumpkins. I'm going to have to take you guys in there one time. They got a good fruit and vegetable stand. One more little hill after this. This is a nice long downhill. It's nice to have regenerative charging because these big hills you can charge up the batteries a little bit. Let's see if we can top out. 36, 37, 37 downhill boys. Coasting. It'd be pretty cool to get two of these and turn them into a go-kart side by side, huh? They must have four-wheel drive go-karts. And did that hell pretty good. Fifteen miles. Still have a quarter of the battery left. Sixteen miles. Battery's still holding. Quarter. The suspension is pretty nice. Come on, leopard. You can do it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's see if we can make it without any help. That did it. There. 17 miles. Take all my gadgets off. We got 17 miles total. And you see the trip resets every time you turn the key off and back on again. And the battery starts creeping back up when you're not putting a load on it. That's normal. So now, let me give my impressions on this awesome Leopard battery scooter. I like that it gives you a seat. That seat kit's a hundred and something dollars if you have to buy it separately. The brakes work great on this. The display was nice and clear. Even in the sun, it handled well. The headlight looks like it's going to be plenty bright for at night. 1,000 watt rear drive claim. That's definitely peak. If there was anything I had to knock down on this entire scooter, it would be that 1,000 watts should pull me up those steep hills. But it does ride nice and smooth. And with the extra shock absorber on the seat there, it's, it's a comfortable ride. This would be better suited for the city or maybe somewhere down in Florida a more flatter area around here it's just doesn't have the power and that's just the way it is I mean I have a lot of hills around here as far as off-road that they claim it struggled I mean it'll do it but if you're trying to go up the hills it's gonna struggle it's well built it's a solid scooter for sure for the asking price I think it's an okay deal 
it's a little lighter because it only has one rear drive. It's definitely not as crazy of a ride as a dual drive, the one with the dual motors, front and rear. So this is probably more well suited for a younger kid if you want to get them going on these scooters. That would be ideal. So if this is for you, I'm going to have the links down below with any discount codes that they give me. Pound that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. If you like my stuff, you better. That's right. You got to stop bringing these chipmunks in the house. Hey, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'd love to hear what you have to say. Hit that bell if you want new notifications on new videos. Links for products used are in the description and on MotoCheese.com. Thanks for watching.